I want her to come here. But these are clothes. She's not wearing this weather. Sophia, come now. She has scattered my offices. Who is, who is going to help me arrange my office? doing so today is sunday and we are on our way out for our sunday outing see cora's hair <laughs> cora's hair is so beautiful sophia's hair is really beautiful as well um yeah we really enjoyed the experience yesterday eva come and say hi hi, hi. yeah so we're going out now we're going to kfc we're going to playground um I don't know if we'll buy stuff from KFC because KFC is a bit expensive to be honest. K KS what? KFC. We have went there before. Yeah, but it's expensive. So we might end up in Kilimanjaro, buy food from Kilimanjaro, then go and play at the playground behind KFC because we're still going to pay for to enter the playground. That reminds me, in my last video where I I forgot what the video was about, a vlog where I think I went with my kids to the swimming pool, we went to Pleasure Park and stuff like that and then someone said, you're only showing the glamorous side of your life or something like that, I'm not interested or I can't remember what the person said, but something about that being a, the glamorous side of my life and I'm just like, God forbid that that becomes the glamorous side of my life because <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but how can that be what somebody will consider glamorous side, just carrying your children to go and uh, play and to go and swim is glamorous side. Mbakwa, God forbid that that would, be, that would be the glamorous side of my life. I beg, please, God, I beg you because there are more things in store in my life that are way more glamorous than that. Now, I mean, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to take your children out and all of that, but to me, I feel like that should not be a big deal. It should be a normal thing for for most people. Okay, it's not even about the money you spend because, to be honest, some of those things are not even as expensive as you might think. Pleasure Park, some rides, 300 naira, 250, 150, entrance is 250 for kids and 500 for adults or something like that, or 400 for, I can't remember. But yeah, these are not expensive things, it's just being intentional about it that makes it look like, oh, it's glamorous. Nothing glamorous there. How much is it to go and swim? Even if they went to swim, I didn't even buy food in the place I went to swim. They just swam and we left. So, please, God forbid that be, that would be considered glamorous part of my life. To me, that is just what a normal life should be like and then the glamorous part should be way more glamorous than that <laughs> anyway so yeah but uh, going by that so taking my children out now to go and play in playground is glamorous part no wahala when we go when we go live our glamorous life at the playground where entry is one five and they play as long as they want and we'll probably spend all day there but yeah um name of the place is vineyard i'm sure you guys know the place if you live in port Harcourt. so there's something that me and Nello have been doing recently which is basically like trying out new new places because it's not enough to say oh port Harcourt is boring port Harcourt is boring okay the, the one or two places that are there in port Harcourt, have you been there no you haven't so how are you saying it's boring so we've been trying out new places we've been to vineyard before that was years ago that was like two years ago said but after a while they stopped after a while they closed or something for renovation or something but now they are back so we're going back there today what are those ones doing? anyway i went for nello to call me she's supposed to call me so i will be going but she hasn't called me so let's see how it goes hi baby Come and show us your hair. This one just refuses to stay one place. I just want to see her hair. Come, come. Hi. Hi. Come now. If you don't want to come and meet me now, come and meet me. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Yes. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? So, so. Phone is ringing, not for you. Please let me bring my phone. Just look at her beautiful face. Come on, take it easy now. Hey, Chukuna. Hello? Yes, yeah, so yeah. since. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, you can go. Let's go. We should go. Yes. <laughs> no! Call daddy for us. Call daddy. Do you know Sophia has perfect eyebrows? I don't know if you've noticed. This. But I'm like mommy, so why is my fingerprint not like mommy? No, fingerprints. Everybody has different fingerprints in the world. Every single person's fingerprints. But I'm mommy. Is I'm mommy. I'm my mommy. I look like my mommy. And I'm my mommy. That you look like me doesn't mean you have the same fingerprints. It's me. Highlander. Mommy, I got to kiss this girl. Hi Sophia. Oh, yeah, I call it again. Press the blue part. The blue. My baby. My baby. She, she, she's going to run away. She's going to run. Oh, that is my calling. Sorry, my baby. Yes, Mama. She a papa. What is that? Did you know when this song was ready? Yeah. Yeah. But you old enough <laughs> Yes, this is mine And you have one in the house But the man can
hey guys happy sunday i hope you guys can hear me clearly um i don't want to talk too loud because my house is quiet so this is the sunday after yeah after we went out that is this is the next sunday basically and everybody is sleeping normally we go out on sundays we just look for somewhere to go by fire by force <laughs> even if it's just go to an eatery and then they play in the playground of the eatery we always find a way to go out but today this morning i woke up and i was just not feeling like going anywhere i didn't even go to church nothing i just want to stay at home and rest and sleep i don't know i've been feeling overwhelmed lately and i don't want to get to that level anymore I don't want to start taking a break again because at, at this point it's like too many breaks you know um i cooked um soups yesterday i cooked three soups i cooked ofaku as well so we ate rice and my kids now went to i told them to go and sleep afterwards so i threatened them initially i was talking with them small small but my children sometimes don't understand that small small talk <laughs> they don't understand when i'm trying to be nice so i ended up um threatening them that if they don't sleep, I'm going to eat their snacks that they got from party park yesterday. I told them that if I come in the next 30 minutes and see any of them awake, I'll just go and collect the snacks, open it and start eating it. That was how I entered now and they are all sleeping. <laughs> but they are both sleeping. So yeah, that one sleeps normally around this time. So putting her to bed wasn't even difficult. Amaracha and Elizabeth are also sleeping. So I just told everybody to just go and lie down and sleep. So that one said that one it's almost as if they were even feeling sleepy already because I just sneaked into the room now and saw them both sleeping. Um, including Sophia. Anyway, uh, I, I think I didn't end my last vlog well. So the last vlog where I took Sophia to the salon, um yeah. There are salon that I said I discovered newly. I really like the place, Jeggy's Bella Fro. Um, I really like the place. So, but what I've decided now is that Sophia's hair, I'm going to be washing it at home. Even the other ones, if no, well, the other ones I really don't need to wash it at home by myself, I beg. But Sophia's hair, I wash, I wash it by myself at home, or I'll go with her high chair. But the reason why I just want to wash it myself at home is that. Sophia cannot just stay one place for that long. And last time we went, we made a mistake. We didn't take her tab. So she was just crank not really cranky, she was she wanted to play basically and we were trying to keep her in one place. So um yeah, so I'm, I'll make sure I take her high chair the next time and I'll wash her hair at home. So once we just get there, we'll just start making the hair and she won't have to sit down in a place for too long. See me now, I was even coloring. Imagine me coloring when my kids are making hair. Like it's not possible now. There's never been a time where my kids are making hair and I'm not doing anything. It's not it's not possible. I'm usually the one making their hair. So I'm really excited about the place. Um, I really hope to. I, mean, I want to transition to natural. That reminds me. Somebody was saying that. Um, I always get comments. Not even just one person, but I always get comments about, "Oh, your kids have full nice hair. You guys have good jeans. You guys have good jeans." And I'm like, "See, yeah. Let's just all agree now that genetics plays a part, but not, 
not that much okay genetics accounts for you know the texture of your hair and what else maybe texture of your hair basically and maybe the i don't even want to say how long your hair can grow basically genetics accounts for texture of your hair that's pretty much it texture color all of that okay that's pretty much it but you see health of your hair it depends on how well you take care of your hair now some people's hair are easier to take care of than others okay but trust me my hair my kids hair is not one of those hairs that are easy to take care of first of all Cora has very tender scalp me i have extremely tender scalp like look at my hair now if i say my children have good genetics just look at my hair my hair is rubbish even though yes i relaxed it so the hair is really damaged but my hair right now is just like rag chop okay and i have extremely tender scalp so anytime i wash my hair just know that two days after you see uh, look at now i washed this hair two days ago in fact it's up to two days now i washed it on friday yeah so two days ago it was not saturday morning i washed this hair it's actually yesterday morning i washed this hair you can already see my scalp is white and i always wash my hair very neat but i have either psoriasis or something but my my scalp gets inflamed and i start getting you know white flakiness it's not even dandruff it's my scalp it literally flakes up you know so my hair is a mess um Cora's hair is not easy to take care of um Sophia's hair Sophia has really thick hair Sophia's hair reminds me of Cora's hair so Cora's Sophia's hair is not really easy to take care of either but the two of them they have thicker hair than Eva whose hair is easy to take care of Eva has really soft um Eva has really soft hair that's easy to take care of. Yes, as much as genetics has a part to play, you also have a part to, in fact, you have the larger parts to play because if you don't take care of your hair, I don't care if you're an American, I don't care if you're white, I don't care if you're Indian or Malaysian or Asian or whatever, okay? If you don't take care of your hair, your hair is not going to be as good as it can be, okay? It might be better than some other people's hair, but just know that the potential, you've not even reached, you won't reach the potential without taking care of your hair, okay? So yeah, I want to, I want to transition. I want to go natural, but that's the next year project. I must relax this year for my birthday and for my trip, and then next year I'll go natural. So I want to start afresh with somebody that I know can take care of my hair. Um, hopefully, you know I'll see good results. Anyway, that's it. Oh, I want to remind, I want to just you guys about something. Ah, this video will not be too long. Anyway, people should watch it Sunday. Please watch. <laughs> okay. Um, so that place that I went to last week, the place, the name of the place is called Vineyard, and they were, I don't know why people are making noise outside, anyway, the door is open. So, that place is called Vineyard, it's behind, um, K no, not Kilimanjaro, it's behind KFC in GRA, so if you guys know KFC, I think that's basically the only KFC in Port Harcourt. so behind KFC in Port Harcourt, that's where, you know, they have that Vineyard playground. And something happened that just made me say, eh, see, Nigerians eh, Nigerians don't deserve me. I'm, I'm sorry, Nigeria does not deserve me. You see how this, you, you see how being good-mannered, good-natured, you know, um, peace lover, quiet, you know, all those kind of behavior. Nigerians, each prepare their body, they can't, they can't deal. Okay, Nigerians like fire for fire. They like people that are just, you know, fire for fire, basically. That's what Nigerians like. They, they're not people of war, of peace. They are people of war. <laughs> Anyway, so we we'll see how my hair looks, but the hair is juicy. So anyway, so that last week now we got there. My kids were playing, and I went with Nelo. We went to buy food. Uh, so only only for us to come back, and they then told us that food is not allowed there. Um, you can eat snacks, you can eat chicken, you can eat meat, but you can't eat rice. And it kind of made well, not really that it made complete sense, but I could understand it. But why it didn't make complete sense is that you are allowed to eat popcorn, but not allowed to eat rice. Yeah, even allowed to eat biscuit, all of that. Anyway, I was like, okay. When the woman just told me, I was like, ah, no wahala now. I just packed up. My kids were very hungry. In fact, they were very hungry before I bought the food. So the moment I came, they were already trying to devour the food. But when they now told us that we were not allowed to eat there, I said, okay, let me just pack up. So I, the woman said that we should go and eat inside. There's a lounge, the lounge area inside the, the main building, that vineyard building. And I said, okay. Um... As we now got there, I saw chairs, but they looked like rentals, right? So I saw the rentals chairs. They were all stacked there. I said, okay, let me just take some and use it to sit down and eat. After eating, we'll, we'll put the chairs back. As I was not taking the chairs, one man said, no, 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 I should leave the chairs. The, uh, even the way he talks initially, I was like, anyway. I said, no, I had now. I now told him to return the chairs back. Because I'm actually and Elizabeth were trying to pack some. I said, okay, you should return the chairs back. When the guy saw that I said they should return the chairs, he now came and said um, he will bring chairs for us. I said, okay, no wahala. So he went in and he was bringing chairs. I thought about him. 
we like to sit down here and wait for this man to go bring two chairs, go bring another to go bring another to before all six of us will sit because we were basically six. And I said, you know what? He should not worry. Let me just. I even said, ah, you know what? Don't worry. Thank you very much. And I said, let me go. Let me go to the car. And now told my people to pack up quickly, let's just go to the car so that, I mean, we sit down in AC because that place was even hot. Anyway, long story short, I said, let's pack up and go and sit down in the car and eat just to save the man's stress too. Because I know that if I had stood there, he would go and bring chair for all of us. To save the man's stress, to not mess up the place for them, let's just go in the, into the car and eat peacefully. As we were now going, the next thing I heard the woman that said that told us that food is not allowed there. I heard her shouting, I don't know why she did vex, so I don't know why she did vex. It's our policy now. It's our policy. I don't know why she did vex. She's talking about me, you know how you're like, huh? She's talking about me, and now waited and said this thing. She said, I don't know why she did vex. So, it, uh, even her friend understood because Nelo, Nelo was inside, and Nelo's on there. Her kids were not eating. I don't think she, I think she bought food for them to eat at home, not there. So, when they said they were not, they don't allow food, she was like, No, wahala, let them eat their snacks, and she should just eat no limits. In fact, they say meat is allowed, you know. And if I heard this, her friend even understood though, I don't know why she did vex. I don't think I said, eh, 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 eh. Because me at that point I was now eh, I was so pissed. And what was even pissing me off was her response, not even what happened. Because I understood when you said no, they don't allow I don't, I'm not gonna person that will go there and start asking them, why do you put why don't you allow food? My is, you don't allow food, I'll be okay, no wahala, and next time I won't bring food here. Simple and short, like I won't beg you, so it's nah. Like <laughs> may call it pride, whatever. I won't beg you to allow me to eat in your establishment. No, now nah, it's not allowed. Okay, no, Allah. I've got eating my car in peace. Like it's not fight. So when the woman said that, and I said, hello, excuse me. I did not even talk to you. Like I didn't talk to you. I didn't you told me your you told me your policy, and I was like, okay, let me leave. Okay. Oh, because I wasn't smiling or begging you. You're not saying you don't know why she did vex. Because I noticed that the woman was trying to get my attention. When I was trying to leave, she was telling me, when she told me to go and stay in the lounge, I said, okay, no, I was going to the lounge. She said, oh, you can go upstairs. I didn't answer her because I was like, I'm already walking to the lounge. Like, which one is I should start going upstairs to go and eat? So my children are very hungry, you know? <laughs> in fact, Cora already taking one spoon and then to pack up her food and be going. So I was trying to hurry up and just find the solution so I will eat quickly and they can go back to their play. So now it's better. I didn't even say anything to you. I didn't talk to you. I didn't argue with you. I didn't, I didn't fight with you. Nothing. I just, you told me your policy. I said, okay, I packed up. Maybe she was shocked at how easily the thing went. Maybe you know how Nigerians expect um, a little bit of fracas, a little bit of fight, a little bit of maybe begging or, or anger. So they expected something. And me, I'm just like, I don't have the time for that. I don't have the patience for that. I don't have the strength for that. Like, I, I, I rarely see the need to prove anything to anybody. Like, even when it annoys me, I rarely see the need to prove a point. Like, I will just leave you to yourself and just go, okay? I don't, I rarely see that need. So, when I heard her shouting, I don't know why she did that. Ah, ah. And I said, Nancy, I didn't even talk to her. Why are you shouting? Why are you screaming? She said, I don't like the way that you're vexing now. Nah. The way you're just going. And I realized that maybe she thought I was packing up to leave the place completely. Sister, I've already paid you money. Now. I've already paid one, 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 one thousand for all the kids. Or was it one five for kids and one thousand? No, one, one thousand for the kids, five hundred for adults. I, be, I can't remember. Anyway, I've already paid. We're already wearing tags. So it's not like I left and did not pay. Or, you know, do you understand? Like, I wasn't even leaving. I was just going to eat. My bags were still inside the, the place. My diapers, my Sophia diaper bag, my handbag, everything was still on our seats. We were just going to the car to eat. She was like, hey, I don't like the way you're just going. I said, and I asked her, what is it to you if I'm even angry, self? Even if I'm angry, like, what is it to you? Why are you? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, you told someone something, the person will not like it, but the person is going peacefully. You are now not happy that the person is not happy and the person is quietly going. Like, what, what, do, what do you see? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm ranting now, but Nigeria needs to do better. Like, if somebody is, is, is trying to pursue peace, like, help the person, okay? Don't turn people. And I, I don't want to turn to that person. I don't want to become the person that they want me to become because. No, I have to be different. If Nigerians want to be running mad, they should run mad. But I won't run mad with the rest of you, okay? My, my, I'm not cut out for that life. So, you know, so, anyway, yeah, that's it. But the place is good, though. It's not like I'm saying it to demarket them or anything. I'm always going to go there. I feel like the entry fee is quite affordable and the kids can play everything. And they even had a clown, they had DJ, they had music. The clown was the MC as well. It was so fun. It was almost like I went for a birthday party and it wasn't, you know. So it was so much fun. That little experience with her kind of, you know, irritated me a bit, but I quickly came back and continued enjoying myself. I didn't even see her again. I'm sure maybe she'll be dodging me or something, thinking I came for fight. I didn't even see her again. I just, you know, enjoyed myself. So, yeah, that's all I came to just you guys about. Let me just quickly um, edit this video now. I'm actually filming this video just to add it to the clips and then post it. <laughs> 
So let me just finish editing my video and I'll see you all in my next video. I've not even had my bath, nothing, nothing. That's just, this is just my normal, this is just me being scruffy and, you know. But I love it, okay? I love the peace, I love the quiet, I love the atmosphere, I love the weather, I love everything. And yeah, that's it about my glamorous life as a potter cut housewife, okay? <laughs> I'm going to title this video. I'm going to title this video the, Clam the Glamorous Life of Potter Court Housewives. People should stop jealousy us. Like, we're too much. Like, can't you, can't you see how I look? Can't you see how beautiful I look? Stop jealousy me. <laughs> stop jealousy me and my children that are playing in playground. It's just a big deal, okay? <laughs> Alright, bye guys.